Hello everyone, welcome to Concept Clarity. The topic for today is circles and this is the part 4. I request you to please watch the previous part so that you understand in continuity. After this important announcement, if you want the full channel access, then kindly pay rupees 119 per month. For that, you have to click on the join button and in this full channel access, you will get Merchant of Venice, Tempest, History, Civics and Bio, all the chapters. And the description is given of the entire membership and the link is given in the description box of this video. Kindly go and get the full channel access. After this, don't forget to follow us on Insta and Facebook for daily updates. Let's start. Today basically we will be doing one simple question of circles and this is a quite simple question but still asked in your board exam. So you must know how you can solve this type of questions. This is the first question so I will help you to solving in this question. What we are given the question says that the chord BC. Okay so let me draw the chord BC for you. It's simple. Let's draw the chord BC. This is my chord BC and this is my chord CD. These are the chords. Okay, so let's name this. Let's it's A and B and this is C and D. After this, what I am said that O will be the center. So let's make an O and this is my center. Now let's further read the question. Chords B, C, A, B and C, D of a circle with center O intersect at the point E. So this intersection point, we have to name this as E. So let's name it E. After this, it say if O, E. Okay, so O, E. So we have to join O, E. If OE bisects angle AED, AED, so it means OE is bisecting the angle. What does bisecting means? Okay, let me just give you an example. Bisecting means that OE, this is my angle, let's say, and this is my O point, and this is my E point, this is A and D. Bisect means that it will divide this angle into two equal parts. That is, angle AEO will be equal to the angle OED. Okay, this is the rough idea that I am giving you. And this is given that it OE bisects the angle AED. That is, it is dividing into two equal parts. So, let me make it equal. Okay. After this, what it says, prove that the chord AB is equal to chord CD. We have to prove that this chord AB is equal to CD. It's very easy. Okay. So, let's start. Let me start um, with a different thing so that you have the better understanding. Let's take the black ink for instance. So, here I will write just for solution. For the solution, I need few constructions in order to build a triangle and we can prove the similarity of the triangle. So, what I will say, let's draw an OM perpendicular to OB and an ON perpendicular to CD. Okay, so let's see, go and join. Okay, so I have to make a perpendicular to AB. So, this is my perpendicular to AB, this is my construction. It is a 90 degree because I have already mentioned it will be a perpendicular. So, let's make it OM and ON. Okay. So, I got two triangles here. You can see now there is a closed figure and these are the two closed figures. This triangle and this triangle. Now, we will use these two triangles. So, first of all, I will write. I will do the question as per the board requirements only. That in triangle OEM and triangle OEN. Okay. In these two triangles, now we will prove out the similarity. We will prove them that they are concurrent. In order to prove concurrent, we know that we have constructed a perpendicular. So, a perpendicular, we know that these angles are 90. So, let's prove that these angles are 90. So, let's write OME is equal to angle ONE. Why? Because they are 90 degree. They are equal. Okay. Why? Because we have done in construction that they are perpendicular. After this, what we will do? We know it is given that what it is given. In what it is given here, let's see if OE bisects the angle AED. Bisect and I have already told you that when an angle, a line bisects an angle, it means it will divide the angle into two equal parts. So, what it will do? The These two angles will be also now equal as I have already defined it. So, we will just write down here OEA is equal to angle OED. Why? Because it is given that OE bisects, you can just write that here and you can just write given in order for the complete reference. After this, what you will do, you know, you know when two angles of two concurrent triangles are equal to each other, the third angle is also equal. 
okay we know okay and now let's take one another property that is oe is equal to oe this is another property that this line is common when this line is common what we can do what we can do that this line is common so we can say by asa what is this this is angle side angle okay let me draw this again for you okay we are getting this type of a triangle okay this is my triangle and this is m this is o and this is e and we know this is 90 degree and this is a equal triangle okay so we know that this is angle side is equal to both the triangles if this is your triangle this is 90 degree these sides are equal and this is your side and this is again your angle so it gives a angle side angle you can see angle side and again angle it's very easy so by sa property we can see we can say that triangle oem is concurrent to triangle oen hence proved and when these two triangles are concurrent then obviously it is easy to say that me is equals to en why because concurrent side con the you can say okay so here we can say that om is equals to on what i will say om this is my om is equals to on so that wrote it here wrong it will be om is equals to on how it is because the corresponding parts of a concurrent triangle are also equal okay now what i will do i know now in this triangle what we have to prove we have to prove that the chords are equal that ab is equals to cd okay this was my triangle and these were my quads and this was my distance okay this was my center and i have proved that om is equals to on and these are at 90 degree from the center okay so if you recall just recall that if the we have what in the theorems what i was teaching in the previous parts was that if a if what we have taught that let's say that a quads equidistance from the center are equal okay equidistance matlab it means equidistance means when they are at a equal distance from the center like say if this is 5 cm then this is also 5 cm because this are om is equal to on and the theorem says that if the quads are equidistance from the center then they are equal you will see the entire proof in the previous videos so we can say by the theorem that if the quads are equidistant because we know the quads are equidistant since om is equal to on and when they are equidistant when these lines are intersecting them at 90 degree only so these lines are equal so this line is equal to this and these are 90 degree by construction we have only told them so when these lines are equal when these lines are equal it means they are equidistant from the center so we can say when the quads are equidistant from the center quads are equidistant from the center equidistant from center okay from center equidistant from center then they are equal then they are equal they are equal and you can say by theorem by theorem and here you can prove and here you can also say since we have proved that om is equal to on hence ab is equal to cd and that's how i prove that these two quads ab equals to these two quads are equal in length hope you understand now how it was easy and how it important it was to know the theorems because after proving also you need to know which theorem you have to apply in order to get the correct proving solution if you like this video please go and subscribe to the code effectively and to us main channel that is concept clarity thank you for watching concept clarity hope you have a good day